Welcome back. The midday meal rice quota black marketing case in Ponda is yet to reach its logical conclusion for past eight months. Authorities are still busy carrying out panchanamas and rice stock transfers. Crime branch on Friday held a panchanama of the rice bags. The crime branch has shifted around 234 rice bags to civil supplies department. Crime branch officials on Friday held a panchanama at the Ponda godown of the rice bags. The panchanama has been held after eight months from the time of the incident in November 2012. After the panchanama, crime branch has shifted the rice bags to civil supplies department for further use as rice is a perishable commodity. You have to get the remainder. Okay, but, uh, panchanama is not as uh, over, you know. The part of the panchanama, panchanama is to be carried out as the remainder. It may be recalled that in November 2012, Ponda police arrested a shop owner from Kurti Ponda, Sachin Naik, in an alleged racket involving the sale of rice procured for the midday meal scheme. Following raid, Godown in Ponda was seized. The truck carrying the rice bags was also seized by the Ponda police. Look at the chronology of investigation for the past eight months. November 2012, Ponda police busted racket involving sale of rice procured for the midday meal scheme. Ponda police team led by P.I. Sagar Ikoskar raided the godown at Kurti. Shop owner from Kurti Ponda purchased rice from self-help groups and sold it. Shop owner used to stock rice in his godown at Kurti Ponda. A Karnataka registered truck containing rice bags was found at the site. Godown owner and truck driver were arrested. Case is reported to the Civil Supplies Department. Inspectors from the Civil Supplies conducted Panchanama. Godown and truck were seized. April 2013, FDA checked the godown and sent rice samples for examinations. May 2013, police coordinated with other departments via official letters. District collector intimated for further action. Goa government transferred the case to the crime branch. Crime branch records panchanama of rice bags from truck. Rice bags from truck shifted to civil supplies department. It is typical red tapism in the Parivartan government. No parivartan in functioning of the crime branch, no evidence collection, no breakthroughs, no arrests, no charge sheets. Role of self-help groups in illegal sale of midday meal rice is still not on police record. Even after clear raids and red-handed arrests, this is one more inconclusive case in crime branch's zero conviction report card. Report of Vivek Prabhu for Prudent. Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation's ambitious SMS-based ticketing system is now a reality. Railway Minister Malik Arjun Kharge has launched the new system where one can book railway tickets via SMSs. SMS-based ticket service can be availed through two numbers, 139 and 5676714. System is aimed to eliminate the time consumption of passengers in booking tickets. It's quick, hassle-free and without the internet. This SMS-based ticket service can be availed through two numbers, 139 and 5676714. Those looking to book tickets by sending an SMS to 139 will have to first register their mobile numbers with the IRCTC and their banks. Users will then receive an MMID or mobile money identifier, an OTP or one-time password from the bank for payment authorization. This SMS-based service is available to all mobile subscribers. Book rail tickets through SMS. SMS-based ticket service can be availed through two numbers, 139 and 5676714. Those looking to book tickets by sending an SMS to 139 will have to first register their mobile numbers with IRCTC and their banks. To book the ticket and receive transaction ID, send SMS to 139 in this format. To make the payment, send SMS to 139 in this format. Users can also book their tickets by sending an SMS to 5676714. They will have to first register their mobile number with the IRCTC and M Wallet and send an SMS to 5676714 in the following format. To book the ticket, send SMS to 5676714 in this format. Users will then receive the transaction ID. A second SMS will have to be sent to make the payment. The format is pay, transaction number, MPay, MPIN for authorizing payment through MPay, or Pay, mobile number, MMID, amount, transaction ID, OTP for authorizing payment through IMPS. After the payment, users will receive a booking confirmation SMS. There will be no need for internet at any stage 
booking, payment, cancellation, etc. Bureau report, prudent. Muslim community from Sangye has reiterated that Sangye Kabristan should be renovated. The residents claim that Kabristan is 70 to 80 years old and needs immediate attention. The foundation stone for renovation of Kabristan was laid two years ago. However, the work never took off. Local councillor expects the work to start in the next one or two months. This Kabristan at Sangye is almost 70 to 80 years old. Locals claim that this Kabristan, which serves to three masjids in Sangye, needs immediate attention from the state authority. The foundation stone for the renovation of Kabristan was laid down in year 2011. However, the renovation work has not started till date. For Kabristan, we have been working on the same issue. We have been working on the same issue. Kabristan, Kabristan, and we have been working on the same issue. 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 अंताजी पूरी सुन आम जा आज हैं हंगा या हंगा फोन ये कैल्ले आसर दें जब मुसलमान के आम जो दफन कैल्ले आसर किरे उन आता हम ये आज एक विचार के लोग कि वो आम जो कब्रस्तान जो आसार इत काम का फोन मार पाक एक दिस वाता या फादर सागले तड़प पड़ा सांगा मगर इस काम को शुरू हो क्या दो साल हो गया मगर Local councillor claims that the work is expected to start within a month or two. Proper channel kinds to Nashila, Puili Sarkaran Pui, proper channel kinds to Kuruna Shile. Then Ata E. Koras Lagalamka acquisition awards of an almost award complete Zaloha, Ani Maka full guarantee her Parikar Sarkarache, Ki to Amgalo within eight to don't mena with her. काम चालू करता हूँ अशेष दिस्ता। मयूर नाइक फॉर प्रूडेंट। लेट्स टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक। स्टेट यूनिट। 